Hey, this is Austin here, and this is your Monday Market Update on all things real estate here in the state of Delaware. You ready, set, let's go. So this is actually a special Monday Market Update. Instead of actually deep diving into the numbers, we're gonna talk about the economical impact of this election on a greater scale when it comes to the housing market. Now, typically, when it comes to the housing market during the election period, the housing market actually slows down. Now, obviously, 2020 right now is crazy, but we're still seeing it as an aggressive seller's market, and that rate really hasn't changed the last couple of weeks. So, again, if you're looking to sell, it's a great time. Now, what's gonna happen after the election? That's a good question. Nobody's really sure. We're still kind of thinking it's gonna to continue to be an aggressive seller's market, and we're still gonna have low inventory moving into 2021. But obviously, depending on what comes out of the elections, what kind of policies go forward, that could change it. So, what does that mean? It means if you're still looking to sell, it's a great time to do it. And if you're looking to buy, there are options out there, but you have to continue to be an aggressive buyer. Or if you don't have the ability to be an aggressive buyer, you need patience. The right house will pop into the market for the right opportunity, but you may have to go outside of what your comfort zone is or what you think is your current perfect house. Because again, when it comes to looking for your next house, most people, most millennials, move every three to five years. So don't get stuck in the long-term game of this is my house for the next 20 years. Keep the mindset. You'll probably be there for five years or less. Love you guys. Have questions. Always here to be of service to you guys.